Speaking to NBC News, a poor urban constituency councillor feels that a poor urban and surrounding constituencies have been neglected in terms of roads infrastructure development. The only road which was developed from bitumen, uh, gravel to bitumen road, that is the road between Kamanya and Ruakana, that linking Kamanya and Ruakana, and then stretch only 57 kilos to Opur. That is the only road we can talk about in this region, especially in this Kunene North. The rest are gravel road and they are worn out. But RA's Hilene Philemon says there are future road development plans in place, such as the proclamation and construction of roads from intersection MR124 to Otwani. Others are DR3707 from Orupembe to Okaoko Otavi and DR3705 intersection of MR124 on Jete to end of gravel section which is anticipated to improve connectivity and accessibility. Gunaihe also explained that during the rainy season, some roads become difficult and dangerous to access or to pass over. The most affected are those in remote areas, which are cut off from accessing basic services and even the delivery of drought relief to communities. Saying don't visit Kunen during rain season because their road is very dangerous. And it, it is. We lost lives. And many people, they have been buried the same day because there is no way they can cross to Opuo for Muchwari to come to, to bring their loved one to Muchwari because of those rivers. When they are full, it, it will keep you five days. RA has undertaken efforts to primarily focus on routine and periodic maintenance activities in the past five years. This also includes blading and reshaping of gravel roads to maintain their usability and safety. Gwanaihe also took the news team on a road trip 30 kilometers out of Opuo to the Outer River to experience the conditions of the roads. I think that now you have seen yourself. There is no saying ahead about it. You have seen it yourself. This river is a, a very troublesome river because there are a lot of people from this behind this river that need service in Opo, and they have to cross this river. Now, in attempt to let the people cross, the road authority they put culverts, and that is the wrong material. During the first flow of water. All those things were washed away. Now, as you can see, everything now, the, the, the river is barren now. They have nothing. People even are not, are not using it as the road, <clears throat> which is make people very difficult to cross, to, to go and get the needed service. Because this, if this the river is full, outside the up, if the water have to be outside this river, you can wait for six from five to seven days for the water to be subs subsized to go down you have to wait for for seven days then meaning the service that you need in Opo, you won't be able to get it this was supposed to be a road now people they they, they have constructed or their own road other side there because this this road was neglected and no one looking after it anymore as you can see it's very difficult. It's not easy. Mm -hmm. And this is what the people say. Put up a bridge here. Then the life will, at least some difficulties will be taken off from the shoulder of our community. Philemon said they in the past made efforts and plans regarding the outer river by putting up a bridge. RA through routine maintenance also installed culvert structures at a cost of approximately $3.6 million. Unfortunately, the structure was too small to handle the river's strong flow capacity and was subsequently washed away. She added that they still have future plans to construct a larger, more robust bridge. However, Philemon added that Securing adequate funding for the project remains a challenge 
but the construction of the outer bridge is a priority. The issue of road infrastructure in Kondena region affects the livelihood of those staying in the region, not only in terms of service delivery, but also economic opportunities, especially in terms of tourism, as roads are inaccessible to tourists. Reporting from Ote River, July Nafuka, Opuwa Rural Constituency.